Good morning, folks. We have some seismicity and top science to cover, but the big focus today is space weather. We've got activity at Earth, on its way to Earth, and on the Sun, including the X-Class solar flare we took this morning. Let's go ahead and get started, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Several M-Class flares yesterday, many from the central active region sunspots. A few of them did put out CMEs. We also have those coronal holes north and south here. Let's break down the next few days' forecast, starting with the solar wind. In addition to the coronal hole stream, we have two CMEs NOAA is modeling as being aimed for Earth. They are both expected to impact tomorrow could see more geomagnetic activity. We already have some geomagnetic activity as a previous CME struck overnight. Not terribly severe, but it is driving minor geomagnetic storm conditions here this morning. It may jump up to level 2 today, and then we'll be waiting for the others to arrive. We'll also be on elevated flare watch as an X-class solar flare erupted this morning from a new sunspot group just beginning to crest over the limb into view. So we've got more impacts coming in a new, highly active sunspot as well. Eyes on them. Folks, the top quake of the last couple days struck Papua New Guinea yesterday, 6.3. Many of you saw me put that area on alert on X, Twitter. Luckily, it did not reach too high of magnitude. Top science news of those plasma bubbles spotted by China, one over the Giza pyramids and the other over the Pacific Ocean. What's interesting is that these locations represent our forecasted axis of tilt in the Great Earth Disaster, and the bubbles appear to be enhanced by solar storms. It's a fascinating development that still carries many questions. Don't forget, there's two big events coming up at Observer Ranch. First, in eight days, the Founders Weekend events will take place. Event tickets at the link below or go to ObserverRanch.com to book your stay at the campground. Also, October 19th, my 40th birthday party. So we've got Founders Weekend in eight days, my birthday event in about five weeks. Both event pages are listed below, and don't forget them out at the ranch every week. Next time will be this coming Sunday. We'd love to see you out there. ObserverRanch.com and the event links below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.